Hey you guys, so I know I haven't made a video in a while and I do apologize for that, but things have been crazy and busy. So I'm here to update you. So um, with the second surrogacy, we I'm matched. Um, she is a single mother and well, she's not a mom yet, but she's a single uh, intended mother. And she has two embryos. And she's transferring one embryo into another surrogate from another agency and one embryo into me at the same time so that they're like twins without the risk of twins. The other surrogate will be carrying a boy and I'll be carrying a girl. I'm nervous about that because obviously with Amelia, I was very sick and pretty miserable. So I told the agency like I mostly want to transfer boys. But when they brought up to me her and they told me about her, I was like, okay. Like, I'll give this a chance because I feel like this would be a great experience. And she told me that she wants to have a... So, uh, wait, let me rewind. On the match call, um, her mom was there and it was really cool. Uh, anyways, and they both said that they like me. And she told me that she wants to have a close relationship with me. So, that's definitely going to be different with my IP, my first IPs. We didn't have a close relationship. But at the same time, we weren't strangers. Like, they would send my daughter gifts on her birthday. They would always ask me how I'm doing. They would send me pictures and now they still do send me pictures once in a while and we still talk once in a while but with her she wants it to be closer so i'm excited about that um so anyway so we're i'm have medical screening at the last friday of april on the 30th so i'm really excited about that it's the same fertility clinic as my first journey um and and other news about the surrogacy agency, they actually called me one day and they told me that they had a job available that they wanted me to fill. So I'm now working with my surrogacy agency as an intake manager. And I've been on the job for about, let me see, I can tell you exactly how long. This is my little book. I think I already showed you guys it. Let's see. Since about since about March fifteenth, so it's already been almost a month that I've been on the job, and it's been going really well. And I love working from home. Um, I do still have to. We do have to use a babysitter when I'm working, when Jaime's not at home. But he does get home at about two thirty three. So most of the time she's gone by two. So. We're just paying her from nine to two, but um, since Amelia is autistic and disabled, she does qualify for respite care, which is basically just relief care, basically relief child care um, that is fully paid for. So we're going to use that and that will be for two days out of the week because right now we only use the babysitter two days out of the week because Jaime has Wednesday through Friday off. So yeah um and yeah it's awesome i love the job i love surrogacy i love everything about it it is a lot of investigating and like a lot of you have to have a lot of information on surrogacy and birth and things like that um and i think that my history as a medical assistant does help because you do have to read medical charts um but it's awesome and i love it so that's what's going on with that um oh and i'm working semi part-time right now once i'm fully trained i'll go part full-time um some stat sad stuff happened um my dad who adopted me when i was little he passed away and jaime's dad also passed away within a one month period so that's been difficult um and yeah that's been really hard but we also went to vegas that was a lot of fun. It was great to sit in the sun, explore. We were there for four days. We brought Junior. We brought Jaime's mom. We brought, of course, Amelia. Um, there's something on my shirt. Just ignore that. Anyways, um, it was super fun. It was great. And tomorrow we're going to the beach. We are staying in a king-sized suite with a fireplace that is on, on the ground level. So we can walk right out to the ocean. And we're gonna we're gonna spend one night, two days there, and we leave tomorrow. So, so exciting. Um, and we also plan a trip at the end of April. It was supposed to be the beginning of March, but 
because of booking and everything else with COVID, they only had the end of April available. So at the end of April, we're going to the zoo and that's my Mother's Day uh, trip because I've been wanting to go to the zoo with Amelia for so long, literally since before COVID started. And we were planning on it, but the thing is that before COVID started, I was pregnant with the first surrogate baby. And so we were gonna go, but we were waiting for it to get warm. And then when it got warm, there was COVID, so we couldn't go. So we're also bringing Junior, my little brother. So I think that's gonna be lots of fun. And they are very inclusive. So they do have like paths that are separate from everyone so that kids with special needs, like aut autistic kids can have some silence and some peace. And they do have like silent spots where you go and it's just like quiet for them to just like <sighs> decompress from all the noise. And they do give you like a bag full of like sensory items and they're, they seem very inclusive. So I'm really excited about that. Um, we got the COVID shot because Amelia starting the, the taller version of ABA, it's called EIBT. She's going to be starting it. Um, so we got the COVID shot, the vaccine, so that they could come into our house. We didn't have to, I don't think, but we just figured since we can, we might as well. Like, I don't, like, the way I felt after the vaccine, I felt so bad. And I do not want to feel like that for weeks. And I do not want Amelia to catch it for me and then feel that way. So I'm glad that we got it. Um, I also had or still have technically cellulitis in my leg, which is a staph infection. So I have not been able to walk it. It sucked, but um, it's getting a lot better. So, yeah. And let me see. I don't think there are any more updates. That's it for now. Um, This is my background for when I Zoom for work. Well, usually I'll have this like all the way closed, but it's like, this isn't the angle that they see it, but it's like this and then the the nice little little clock so anyways that's all updates i have i'm gonna update you guys after i have medical screening just to let you know how it all goes uh this is my bag of medications i'm actually missing the prenatals they're in my car right now but i'm taking prenatals vitamin d these two are for the staph infection and i actually had a third antibiotic but i already finished it so these are for the staph infection and then birth controls in the back this is going to come in handy when I have a whole bunch of needles and stuff. I don't know if it will all fit in here. Probably by the time these are gone, it will all fit in here. Because you need it. I want to have it like accessible like all together. But like in a way that Amelia can't mess with it. Because she hasn't figured out zippers yet. So yeah. That's it. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.